Now that we're starting off with making sheet metal from scratch in Alibre, I want to talk about two specific tools. We'll get started by selecting the XY plane, and we have two ways of working with sheet metal from scratch that I want to cover here, tab and contour. Lofted is a different concept entirely. We'll cover that later. So let's talk about contour first, right? Maybe we'll want to make a contour. On the XY plane, I'll create a sketch. We'll activate the sketch. And from here, I have all my sketch tools at my disposal. And I can create just about any shape that I want. Now I'll make that quite large. So I've got this sheet metal shape here. Let's deactivate the sketch. And from here I can go into contour. And what contour does is it takes the elements of my sketch and if there's a sharp angle, it applies the default radius in between those elements. And also, if I do a large arc, can follow the profile of that arc. So you have your default radius, or you can add an arc and make a radius of your own. Now I have the ability to go with mid-plane, and I'll say a depth of 10. I can adjust my bend radius here, although I quite like my default uh, a Libre Design Bend Radius. I can also have a custom K factor, although I like having the K factor the way that it is. And uh, with Linear Figure as Tab, leave that on Auto. From here, we have our own sheet metal contour. And we can edit this just like any other sheet metal part. We can also generate a flat pattern. I think something else that is very useful is the tab function, which I'll go through now. So here we are in a new sheet metal part. I'm going to select a plane and activate a sketch. And I can make all sorts of things. You know, I'll go with a center rectangle. And I can add in an arc. And I'll trim out that extra line. and I can assign dimensions. And of course, we'll uh, make that horizontal. And, and you know what, since we don't have that center relationship anymore, I'll add a midpoint there, and that fully defines everything. Whatever shape I decide to go with, I can deactivate my sketch and choose tab. And this makes a tab of our default sheet metal parameters. And from here, I can edit this as any sheet metal part that I wish. I also have the flexibility, of course, to going back in and editing my sketch, as I do with the contour. And I can even make a tab out of very unusual uh, geometry here. Just like that, I'll deactivate the sketch, and I can make a tab that is highly irregular. You could probably cut that out with a plasma cutter but you certainly can model it here in Alibre. So that is how to start making sheet metal features with contour and tab. And that's how we make sheet metal from scratch. We're gonna be doing some cool stuff in the next video.